In this video, you will learn setting up virtual machine scale set infrastructure and deploying MPC application using custom script extension and PowerShell commands. All the scripts and deployment packages that I'll use in this video, you can find that in the description below. I will show you how virtual machine scale set manual or auto scale automatically deploy your application. And for this automation, I'll store custom script extension commands an application zip file on Azure Blob Storage. So let me show you Azure Blob Storage first. And here you see I have storage account storage itorian. And inside that you can find two containers redeploy app and setup infra and deploy app. So I'll show you setup infra and deploy app. And in this container you can see I have a PS1 script and website zip package this is nothing but an mpc application and in the second container you can see another ps1 script file this is nothing but custom script extension commands and my updated website now you can see i have everything on my azure storage account which i need for manual or auto scale of virtual machine scale set so i'll begin with setting up infrastructure and deploying our initial application and for that you can see i have two folders here now first we'll have initial deployment and configuration of infrastructure and this is the script file ps1 which i uploaded on blob storage and this website zip package and a start local command that i'll be using from local powershell console double click it and also open another one so that i can explain you what it has you can see i am connecting to azure and then i defined couple of variables here creating resource group and then creating a config object and I stored the settings on my blob storage you can see the file URI here this is nothing but my blob storage URL and this command will be executed through custom script extension on virtual machine scale set so I am using this setting in Azure VMSS extension right here then creating a public IP and rest everything is about configuring the infrastructure and at the end if you see here it will return a public IP which I can use to access my website now let's go ahead and see what is the code inside this create web server and deploy app.ps1 here this is the file which I stored on blob stories if I open this file you see I am adding windows feature and including all sub features so this is nothing but this will configure IIS completely it's a full installation of IIS and then I am cleaning WW root folder and I am downloading my zip package this is my MVC application downloading into D drive and then I am extracting this zip file inside C init pub WW root also at the end I am providing read write permission on my temp folder so temp folder just inside website zip let me open that zip file and you see this is MVC application and this is the team now let's go ahead select all here I'll select all and right click and run selection now this will ask for my Azure credentials and now it will take couple of minutes like 5 or 10 minutes because it will go ahead and configure the entire infrastructure it will configure IIS and then it will deploy our zip file that has MVC application and at the end we will receive here public IP address which we can use to access that website so after a long wait now I have a public IP address here let me copy it and open in browser and you can see MVC application is running so far I did not open Azure portal but I have Azure resources to run MVC application but let me show you how it works on Azure portal if I come on Azure portal and inside resources I have demo VSS resource group 
and in this resource group you can see I have virtual machine scale set virtual network a public IP and a load balancer let's click on VMSS and how application deployed on this virtual machine scale set is by extension I used custom script extension with name custom script which you can see here in the code the name is custom script of type custom script extension and it has file URI pointing to my Azure blob stories and you can see this extension has exact same code so it goes to this URI and it pulled the script code and that script code has MVC application zip resource which was used to deploy the application now let's go ahead and run another app script to update my existing MVC application because it may be a scenario that you would like to up update your existing application in the future because I have infrastructure all I need is to update the existing application so for that I have this redeploy app which is nothing but custom script extension code and updated application again I uploaded this blob storage in redeploy app container you can see them here now double click on start local and here you see I'm connecting to Azure and some variables and again I am defining custom script extension codes this will point to ps1 file which is blob stories and then it will get the virtual machine scale set resource because it exists now and I am removing the existing extension and then adding new extension and updating scale set select all right click and run this selection now it will ask for credentials and now it will go ahead and update custom script extension and my application let me show you custom script extension code which I uploaded on Azure blob here you see I am cleaning a root folder and downloading the zip file which is nothing but my updated application it will extract in ww root and again it will apply read write permission exact same code so let's wait it will take a couple of minutes to deploy the application you can imagine the number of virtual machine and how large your infrastructure is it will take almost same time to update huge amount of machines automatically and now it has done everything let's go ahead and open the application on new tab and you can see update one is here so earlier we had just ASP.NET here and now in the next update I updated this h1 tag now let's move to extension tab refresh it and you can see redeploy app.ps1 which is on Azure blob stories 